everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Zoe, and yes, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, as well as sign up for Fetch with my link down below. So yeah, I never really said I was done shopping SAS, although I thought I was done shopping SAS. I literally went on Friday, I went on Saturday, and I went on Sunday, which is today when I'm filming this. Um, yeah, so basically Friday my family had to go shopping in a bigger city, so that's why we went to the Mudricks. Saturday, we wanted to go to some different stores that we didn't get to go to. We went there again. And today, my brother wanted to return something at Walmart. And the only Walmart near us, they're all over 40 minutes away. Um, pretty much 30, 40 minutes away from where I live. So, live out in the boonies, but you know, it's whatever. Anyways, yeah. So, we drove there again. And I'll be going there tomorrow to take my brother and some of his friends shopping because, um... They're all um, younger than me, so they can't drive. Anyways, um, yeah. I've been t uh, driving two bigger cities four days in a row. So, and I'll probably have another Beth Myers haul tomorrow, maybe two stores, um, because I'm hoping, I'm also hoping that the pink and Victoria's Secret stuff goes down because the semi-annual sale is technically over today. Um them and I'm hoping it'll be going down like maybe the perfumes will finally be down to like twelve ninety nine or something like that because I would love that. I really want to get those. I want the Wicked one. I want the Tea Sugar Fleur. I don't know if they have any of those left but I'll take pretty much anything. So <sighs> yeah anyways I did go shopping at Bath Marks. I also um, picked up some candles from Walmart which I'll let you know and I also have a little exchange thing at the end that I'm going to be showing you, showing you the stuff I'm going to exchange or to return sorry and then tomorrow I'll get the money back for that. So Anyways, yeah, let's get started. Um, I have two bags. So this is the first one. I did go to my outlet location. And yeah, I got 16 items. So yeah, I think it's one of my bigger hauls um, for Beth Mudders. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to have to add, I don't think I'm going to add this footage on to the end of my everything about SAS um, video because it should be weird and like mismatched because um what am I how do I say it because like they're not in their own categories anymore then anyways it's okay but I have stuff to show you guys so the first thing I picked up was a three dollar single wick at the outlet they had three dollar single wicks ten dollar three wicks and then six dollar three wicks in the banana mudslide one as well as the caramel cream soda and I actually have the chocolate banana bun slide one that I got I got it for like eight dollars I believe but I'm not gonna return it or anything um because I won't get eight dollars back because I don't want to see anymore um and then um caramel cream soda I got that one but I returned it because it was just super light and just smelling on a cold sniff anyways so I was like I don't want to take this chance but the three three dollar single like I picked up is berry waffle cone um if you don't know uh, and you haven't seen my collection recently, my pre SAS collection. I already have a single wake of this from, I think it was like two years before this, the packaging. And then I have a three wick from this summer SAS, I believe. So, yeah, basically, this is the packaging, very pretty. And this one definitely has a more, more of the waffle cone than the berry. I'm used to a higher berry content because the black hair has lots more of the berry smell, but yeah. Um, the notes of this one are sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. This is actually one of my favorite candles ever. So happy to have another single wick because these single wicks can fill up a, a pretty large room. Like a 500 square foot room because they're so strong. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Also, I want to say I used the ABH Norvina Volume 1 Mini Palette that I bought at TJ Maxx in one of my hauls. And... These shadows are so pigmented and they're very easily blended. I'm not a makeup artist at all. I'm not even like a makeup enthusiast anymore. So yeah, my eyeshadow skills are quite small, but I think it did pretty good. So yeah. Now onto this bag full of fine fragrances. So I think I put it right here in my piece. Easiest. Doesn't scare the cat. Okay. The first one is Magic in the Air. Um, this has notes of almond flowers, sparkling persimmon, white iris, wit vanilla, bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. I do have, like, the super old version of this that I'm planning to use up pretty soon because it's just getting really old and I really do like the scent. It's a perfect, like, after Christmas kind of, like, scent. 
And yeah, this one, this newer version of it definitely just has more freshness. The older version had more of a sweet, soft, almondy, vanilla smell and less of like the iris and persimmon. So no, it has definitely has more iris and persimmon and I'm thinking because of that it's making it less of a after Christmas type of winter scent and more of a spring, early summer type of scent. Um, yeah, so I do still like it and I mean I might take it back because I'm not really sure if I really do want a backup but you never know. Okay, next is an item of oh, that was so nervous enough. Next is an item I got on the $3 table. Yes, it was super expensive to be on the $3 table, but this is your the one. Now this is the international packaging and these retail for $17.50, so I saved $14.50 being on the $3 table. Um, now it's a white birch velvety rose and drop of starry nectar. The only thing I've ever had in your the one was a moisturizing body wash. I don't really remember how I felt about that one, but I did have um, a mini, they had a mini glotion at last winter's SAS. And I got it, hated it. Well, the formula was terrible. First, I used it in like in the shower as an inch lotion and like the grits of glitter literally hurt. Like rubbing it in, it was terrible. Anyways, this is a nice scent and I am getting into more florals right now. And honestly, I think this one mixed really well with Al Rehab's Choco Musk. Just because, you know, the cocoa, like, particularly like Rose's Vini from Ansara and um, Rose Gourmand from Zara are like popular scents right now that have like that chocolatey rose smell as well as whipped rose vanilla or whipped rose latte. So I think I'm going to try pairing that or this, you're the one, with um, Choco Musk. So... It smells nice, it's just a creamy, or not creamy, like a white floral. It's really just a creamy white floral. No strawberry. It's really just a creamy white floral. Very mature, um, not necessarily for someone in my age range, but I do think, in my opinion, I wouldn't really wear this all the time. But I do think if I mix it with chocolate musk, it'll be really nice. Okay, next. I found one of my favorite scents from the summer collection. This is Orange Vanilla Twist. Oh my gosh, I was so happy I found this. There were only two left in the entire Cinder Pizanoff area, like on the whole store. There's only two of these. So yeah, I got it. Um, the notes are juice, Juicy Orange, Summer Sherbet, and Vanilla Creme. I used one up this, oh my gosh, my cat hair, everything, all my face, okay. For some reason, as soon as I film videos, there's always cat hair or hair on my face and it's itchy. <sighs> yeah. I got an orange fill twist and I used one up this summer and I just loved it. It's cute, it's not. It's just so good. It's just a creamy, sweet vanilla orange scent and it's just so good. I love this so much and I'm very, very happy to have this because I've been looking for it for, for some of myself. It was at the outlet all year from summer up until winter, 50% off literally six months of 50% off and it wasn't selling until it hit of 75 and then yeah so I got a second one so overall I did get two um orange film twist my favorite twist because it's probably not coming back honestly so yeah the next thing I got is the coconut pineapple fine fragrance mist um I had this in like the original packaging like the white one with the brown lid had that one and I loved it so I got this one the notes are shaved coconut fresh pineapple and sugarcane there's only the mist in this scent that's what I got it's that branch to see if it is can I remember like a sweet coconut with a nice tart pineapple oh okay in my opinion, this smells closer to the, like, just plain coconut scent from that collection versus the coconut pineapple. The pineapple is so much less strong that it's more like a sweet, juicy pineapple than, like, the super tart, tangy pineapple and the sweet coconut in the original version of this. But it is still very nice. And I actually, I still love it because it is, like, a sweet, warm version of a summer scent. Because I loved it so much, I got two, and I actually, even though I don't like it as much as the original, I will keep it because it is really, still really good. And to complete my set with my lotion, I did pick up my, or not mine, but now it is mine, a fresh coconut colada fine fragrance mist, notes of coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. So yeah, I picked up the lotion at the outlet a little bit ago, so it's so good. You definitely get that hibiscus, like, like a fruity uplifting bright floral hibiscus 
with that rum and that vanilla. It smells so good. And a little of the coconut. So yeah, very nice scent. Okay. Bag number two. Okay, let's see. I got some lotions in here. So the first lotion I picked up is Pink Suede. This has notes of um, blush berries, velvet peonies, and soft cotton. I wish I would have found um, the Cozy Season one as well. I did actually go to the owl location and then the mall location. The mall had literally nothing good. I walked in there, looked around for about two minutes, and I'm like, no, there's nothing here. So I left. I wish I would have picked up the Cozy Season lotion when I could have. Um, when I was there like yesterday, <laughs> but fortunately I could not. So I only, I, yeah, I got pink suede um, in the lotion. Nice, very sugary berry scent with like a hint of a woodsy note. Okay, I also picked up a Magic in the Air body lotion. This one is a little softer than the mist. And then I picked up a Life of the Party body lotion because I'd rather have the lotion than the cream. Um, the notes are pink citrus, bubbly prosecco, jasmine, and shimmering vanilla. Yeah, it smells really nice. I do actually really enjoy it. So um, that's why I got it. Next thing I got is to complete my set with my mist. And this is the Starlit Night Body Lotion. Again, I think it is more of a softer, creamy scent in the lotion. The last lotion I picked up was the Almond Blossom Lotion. Again, I'd rather have the lotion than the cream. Um, the notes are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. Yeah, just normal cashmere. Like, no, not cashmere. Yeah, it's like a cashmere musky almondy hint of floral kind of scent. I do really like it. Okay, last thing I got are three wallflowers. These are on sale for $2, so they're only um, like 13 cents more than they would be a centimeter off, which is fine. Uh, no, actually, these. Two of them were $7.95, one was $7.50. So $7.51 was Applewood and Clove. And when my brother got this one um, for himself uh, at an uh, wallflower sale, I really liked it. So I uh, picked one up for myself. The notes are rich Applewood, warm clove, and white birch. A nice, not super manly, but kind of in the middle, just kind of a nice home scent. And then I picked up the new suede musk. Seemed like a very soft, nice scent. These were $7.95. The other one was $7.50. Um, the notes are golden amber, soft musk, pink peppercorn, and bergamot. I smelled the candle and it smelled pretty nice and soft and pretty. So got that. I also got mahogany coconut because people say this is super strong in general. This is the enhanced fragrance. Um, the notes are creamy coconut, mahogany woods, and English lavender. So yeah, I got those three. That completes my haul. Again, that's, yeah, but we have more to go for other stuff, so. Uh, yeah, from um, Walmart, I went to the clearance section and they had all their Christmassy fall candles clearance. The first one I got was a fall one, I believe. It's the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla Bean and Myrrh Two-Wick Candle, um, 12 ounces, notes of vanilla bean, sandalwood, myrrh, tonka, amber, and cedarwood. These 12 ounce candles, they're two wicks. They look very elegant, so. This so, smells so good. You do get that sweet myrrh a hint of like a nutmeg smell or cinnamon and that soft creamy vanilla very nice scent very excited to burn that it's just nice like um i don't know elegant scent and then better homes and gardens candy cane and cream uh the notes of this one are candy cane buttercream vanilla bean and peppermint again 12 ounces these are on clearance for five dollars from 12.97 so yeah these are really nice. If they don't burn super well, I can always melt them, but I really liked especially that sandalwood myrrh one, and I love candy cane scents all the time. Okay, and then the three items I am um, going to be returning. This is the pink suede body cream, because I got the lotion finally. Um, the Life of the Party body cream, sorry, Life of the Party body cream, as well as the Almond Blossom body cream. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I am, um, returning these ones because I'd rather have a lotion. I haven't used these, but I just would rather have a lotion 100% all the way. So yeah, basically, I also, I don't know if I'm going to turn the magic in the air or not. I'm going to think about it. Um, I'll probably leave on this green if I remember, or in the description, I'll leave if I left the magic or if I'd return the magic in the air or not. So yeah, I'll think about that and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.